Hey guys, uh, it's another nice day in central New York. I'm over in Westmoreland here and uh, I'm right over where I work in the truck yard and today I wanted to show, I don't know if uh, my non-truck friends will appreciate this so much, but um, anyone that drives trucks may be interested in this. Um, I was going to show you what I've come up with to uh, easily transport a bicycle on um, pretty much any bicycle um, on a truck without having to do lots of strapping or or things of that sort so what I got here is uh, I got my bike here um, this is an e-bike so I took the battery out you have to take the battery off to which is not hard so um, to, to use this mount that I came up with but um, the other thing you have to do um, and some bikes be a little different here, but, um, you, um, you would need to, uh, take the, the headset here and loosen it up on this one. It's on two sides. Usually it takes an Allen key. Sometimes it's a wrench, um, because what you're going to need to do in order for your, uh, your handlebars to clear the, uh, the trailer especially if you have like a reefer or something uh, you're gonna need to put your handlebars off to the side like this so it makes the the whole bike as narrow as possible so this is what you're gonna be looking at when when you do it it's really easy it's literally unbolt two allen allen bolts and uh it goes over and then when you want to ride it again you put it right back you only have to you can leave it loose while it's on the bike and then uh, just retighten them when you gotta go ride it again. So anyway, uh, let's show you the, the goods here. So this is what I came up with right here. Now this is the back of, uh, this is a, a 2020 International, but this would, as far as I can tell, um, I've driven quite a few other kinds of trucks and this should work on, on most trucks. Um, so what I did, uh, we got um, a ratchet two two ratchet straps here and um i got a uh this is a, a two by ten board here and uh basically what i did i i cut slits here i measured the uh i measured the width of the frame of the truck and then cut slits here got the slit on the other end here and um so that when i strapped this on i just hooked it on there's no bolting anything uh it's clean and this is a brand new truck. I didn't have to bolt anything onto it or anything. Um, and then this is just a, uh, it's a roof carrier. I bought it on uh, Craigslist, but you can use uh, basically a, a bicycle, um, bicycle attachment for a roof carrier is what I used. And if you see here, I've, uh, I've put some lag bolts in various spots here to secure it onto the, uh, to the, um, I did put a board here to space it and some of these mounts will be a little different so um, you guys sort of get creative on this one on this one I, I had to use this to make it so it didn't wobble as much but now this thing will absolutely does not want to go anywhere I mean it's it's on here and these ratchet straps are good for like 2,000 pounds each so I would uh, make a point to inspect them make sure they're not spraying or anything but um, But yeah, this is on here um, the way I've got it spaced out uh, your rear wheel. I'll show you here in a minute um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the bike on and let you watch that here. So uh, the way I have it spaced out uh, You really don't get any interference with the uh, the airlines and the power cable either so Give me a second here, and I'll uh, I'll show you how it goes on. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off the camera here and grab the bike. And you just lift the bike up here, and then you see uh, this is already designs for wheels to fit the, the tires to fit right in there and once you get that same here on, on this one specifically um, it pretty much stays up on its own you just it's got like a little zip tie type thing there ratchets in there
you go to the other side if you, if you want you can uh, one thing you want to make sure of if you got like an APU just make sure the pedals down so it doesn't hit the APU um, get that so we can go in there zip that down the bike pretty much stays there now it's not a hundred percent secure till you do this deal here um, this is all um, so you just bring this down in here and this clamps onto the down tube here of the bike and you just clamp it Voila, the airline will go right over the back wheel when it's hooked on. Yeah, I've checked the extremes on both sides, both turns, extremes, and it it uh, it does not cause any interference with the airlines. Uh, even the reefer does not hit any of these things, any of the seat or the handlebars. Um, the bike's not going anywhere, it wobbles a little bit, but it's supposed to, it, it does that, that's just the way the rack is. I've driven like 20,000 miles with this so far and haven't even come close to seeing it looking like it's going to come off. Um, and then to get it off, you do the reverse. You just pull this, push it out, same thing on there. Unclamp this, twist it, comes right out, and out we go, and it comes right off. Easy peasy. Uh, I bought this on Craigslist, I think, for 70 bucks or 75 bucks. And uh, this wood was just scrap wood I had around, so uh, it wasn't under a hundred bucks. You should be able to buy a, a roof rack attachment, and uh, it's a good way to stay in shape while you're out on the road. That's something I've been working on myself. So uh, one of my things that sort of kept me from it, it was a sort of a pain to get the bike. I was keeping it in the top bunk of my truck, and it was a uh, it was really a bit of a hassle to get the bike on and off so that was my excuse for not riding now I don't have as much of an excuse for riding um, and I've been riding a lot more now since I've had this so I really enjoy this um, maybe uh, this will be a good idea someone else can use uh, it's not hard to make at all so hope uh, happy travels be safe and uh, you can uh, in any comments if you have questions about anything you feel free to ask me